Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to solve this sum in copy isometric. Now if you see length is 120, height is 50, width is 45. 120, 50, but this is not 45. See if you see this is 45 and this we need to add. So 45, see this and 15, 15 on both the sides. So 75, right? So we'll draw this box. We'll start with top view. We'll take half of 120, which is 60, and we'll draw center line. Then we'll take 15 here and 15 from here. So we got two center points. From there, we can draw rhombus. Rhombus of size 15, 15, 15, 15. So we are drawing rhombus by four center method. See this. After that, we have to draw a circle. So we'll draw a longest diagonal. And we'll join opposite midpoint with that corner. Same here also, longest diagonal, opposite midpoint with the corner. We'll name this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After that, we'll draw this arc. See from 1. We'll take 1 to M midpoint and we can draw arc. Same way, this point, three, point number 3 to M and we can draw this arc. Same way from here, see, this we don't require, so we'll draw it from here, from point 6. This is M, this is also M. So from here, see this. Now to draw one more circle which is at the center, we'll find out the midpoint. Midpoint of 75 and we can draw a line and from center again we can draw 15, 15, 15, 15. Right, but that we will do it afterwards. First we'll try and draw this 45. You take 15, 15 from both the sides. In between you will get 45. You extend that up. See it will meet like this. Then how much is this height? 15. This is from center you take 30, 30. See this. And you draw slope. This is 120. From here you go up, you 
see this you can take 120 from here which will be dark and from that point you go up by 15 and you join this slope this is how it will come now the circle will be down also so we'll take that point 1 down and point 3 down how much you have to go down you have to go down by 50 1 dash and 3 dash see this we will do the copy paste method we will take this radius go down Again, we'll take this radius, we'll go down and we'll copy that. Then you go behind. How much you have to go behind? 45. You draw this slope. This is O 30 30 degree. Now this slot. How much is it, how much it is down? 15. So you go down by 15. And you draw a line like this. Now again on this you take 15, 15. So this is what you get. Here also you mark 15, 15. And you join this. Now same thing is on the other side. So how will you transfer? From here, see this, this way. Then again you take it behind. And from here. This is how you will get that point. See. And the top part is like this. We need to draw that circle. So we'll see that. We'll see this part first. See this arrow see arrow follow this arrow you will know what i'm talking about this is how you will get that point and this point so this is how that slope will appear behind slope now we have a circle over here so from center again we'll take 15, 15. We'll draw rhombus method. Four center method. So from here we can draw, see this is point, let's say 1, 1 to M, this is 2, 3 and 4. So take 1 to M, draw arc, same way 2 to M, draw arc from 3. And from point four, after that, you draw this dark and this also.
see this we are darkening all these lines this will be dark now see the dark portion only this much will be dark not full circle and this much will be dark right same way from here when you are drawing it only this much will be dark and from here this much will be dark then you take this behind down by 15 see you can draw this line you can take this line behind with 15 to show depth this is also 15 now we need to show that curve down also so we'll take point 2 down by how much 15 and we'll draw this curve and here also will go down by 15 and will draw this curve so we are done with this sum thank you we can do labeling and dimensioning